Hi guys, this is FFAN16, and welcome to part 4 of our Rare Card Locations and Queen of Card Quest Guide. The first card we're going to be looking at here is the Chocobo card found at the Chocobo Holy Place. This is obtained after completing all seven of the Chocobo Forests, and you're able to find the Holy Sanctuary. Watch the Chocobos do their little dance, and upon completion, simply head straight up to the baby Chocobo. Talk to him, and he will give you the Chocobo card, which will be added to your card inventory. Next card we're going to be looking at here is the Pandemonium card. This is gotten by the hotel owner in Balma. Simply go and challenge him to a card game. Remember guys to always save before challenging to a card game in case they either don't play the card you're looking for or you lose the game and have to re-challenge him. Upon winning you will get the Pandemonium card and it will be added to your card list. The next thing we're going to be doing here is the third part of the Queen of Cards side quest. At this point you want to lose the Chocobo card you had gotten from the Holy Chocobo Sanctuary. And upon losing the card to her, just simply make sure you don't have random. Put the card in with some weak cards and simply just let her win the match. This will then give the card to her and she will move on to her next location. Quick note here guys, you want her next location to be a Dullet and you want to go speak to her and talk to her about her father. Once you've lost the Chocobo card to the Queen of Cards, simply head back to Dullet here, head to her son and you can challenge him to a card game. The card you had lost to his mom is always given to him. He will play it against you in a triple triad match. Simply win back the Chocobo card and will be added back into your card stock. The Chubby Chocobo card is next, and the prerequisite for this card is that you completed the Queen of Cards Step 3. This was the point where you lost the original Chocobo card to her. She had given it to her father, and he created the now Chubby Chocobo card. You could get this from a gentleman sitting on a bench outside the library at Balma Garden. If he is not sitting on the bench when you get there, simply just leave the frame or the area and come back and he will eventually be sitting on the bench for you. Simply challenge him to a triple triad contest. Hopefully he will have the chubby chocobo in his deck for you. Win it and it will be added to your card library. Salfie's card can be found at Trabia Garden. Her friend who is sitting by the gargoyle statue will have her card. Again, please save before challenging. Once you are able to get into a match with her, simply just keep playing her until she plays Selfie's card. And like all the other routine, just go through, win the card from her, and this will then be added to your card inventory. Cerberus' card is one of the cards that are part of the main story. You do have to go up against Cerberus at Galbania Garden during the main story campaign. Once you engage this beautiful three-headed dog in battle and defeat him, he will award you for this by giving you his card. Ida's card is being held by Ida herself. This is obtainable once you can talk to her at the orphanage after she lost her sorceress powers to Renoa. I found that she's one of the harder battles to do as she usually has pretty good cards and she has one of the toughest rule sets in the game. Once you get used to how to manipulate and play Triple Triad, she doesn't become too difficult. Again, simply save before challenging her, and if you lose any important cards, just reset the game and keep going until you eventually have her play her card and win it and put it into your card library. Shiva's card is found on the White Seed ship. Zone has it. Simply go to the ship while you're on your search for Elyon anyways. You'll speak to them here. He'll head up to the top floor. Simply follow him up. You're gonna want the Girl Next Door magazine. This is found at the Timber Mannix building. Have this in your possession. Go up and talk to him. Give him the magazine for 
free. This is very important. Give it to him for free. When you do this, he gets very happy and he gives you two things, a renaming card and the Shiva card. Shiva is now part of your card library. Here's a brief recap of all the cards we found in part four. In the description below, I will leave my source that I used to help me find all these cards. Please go check that out as it's a great reference material. Hope this has helped you out, guys. I have a couple more parts yet to come, so look forward to that. Like, sub, leave a comment. And as always, guys, happy gaming.